Disney, Disney, Disney. We all love Disney. Or at least we used to, till they start producing some very terrible movies, but I'm not going to be talking about that here. I'm not going to be bringing up any of the remakes they've been doing, I'm not going to bring up any of the sequels they've done. I'm only going to be talking about the original classics. This is my top 10 Walt Disney classics, so let's get into it. And some of these are going to be rapid fire reviews, because I haven't seen them in years. But number 10, I have 101 Dalmatians. I've only seen this maybe twice when I was little, and I really don't remember much, but I remember I used to like it, and I really like Dalmatian dogs, so that's enough to give it a 6 out of 10. Number 9, Beauty and the Beast. And I used to really like this one, but now I'm not a huge fan of musicals, so this film kind of dropped off for me, but it still does have good animation and a decent enough plot, so this one also gets a 6 out of 10. Number 8, we got Mulan. One of the only feminist movies done correctly. This is a solid action comedy with the addition of Mushu the dragon providing the best comedic moments. But again, my least favorite part is when it switches to musical, but it's still a really good watch, so this one gets a 7 out of 10. Number 7, we've got Hercules. The last time I watched this, I actually forgot just how good it was, and I actually really enjoyed it, more than I expected. And along with the fun plot this film has, it also has a hilarious villain in Hades. And I think this movie could easily stand the test of time, especially since it's based on Greek gods, which isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So this one also gets a 7 out of 10. Number 6 is Brother Bear. Easily the most underrated movie on here, because not all people think of this when they think of Disney classics. But to me, this was a big part of my childhood, and it has a pretty fun plot of a man turning into his spirit animal. And although this isn't a musical, the soundtrack is very good. So if you haven't seen this one, I recommend checking it out if you're ever in the mood for some animation. This one's also a seven out of 10. The middleman at number five is Aladdin. Robin Williams as the genie was genius. Aye! 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. And just the classic idea of having three wishes is usually what I think of when looking for a good kids movie. This has good animation, good jokes, decent songs, just overall enjoyable. 7.5 out of 10. Number 4, The Lion King. Possibly the most iconic animated film in history, and it is very good. But again, I prefer non-musicals, and that's pretty much what drops this down to four. But this does have some of Disney's best songs and one of its best stories, but it's just not as rewatchable for me as the top three are. Anyway, it's still good, and it gets a 7.5 out of 10. Number three is The Fox and the Hound. This is my idea of a classic Disney movie, with the old school 80s animation and a very under the blanket cozy feeling when you watch it. The story itself is very simple like the title and honestly just really isn't much to dislike here. It's as classic as it gets. Also a 7.5 out of 10. Number 2 is Lilo and Stitch. And I'm just now realizing that this might be actually my favorite movie related to aliens. But aside from that, this is just a solid comedy that has great alien designs, good music, and introduces an iconic character in Stitch. I mean, you gotta love it. 8 out of 10. Number 1 for me was very easy. The Emperor's New Grove. It is definitely one of my top 3 favorite comedies of all time. And it shoots so many jokes at you and pretty much all of them land for me. They did a pretty solid job casting the right voice actors. Because I can't imagine anybody else being in these roles. And I feel like I want to say Kronk is my favorite character, but just barely, because I love all of the main characters in this one. And like most Disney films, the music is good, I like the animation style, and I think I can say this is one of the perfect blueprints to making a great animated film. This one gets a 8.5 out of 10. Alright, I'm done. Ah, tasty!